Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more about the sources. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In the Hunan province of China, Hanjin County is one of the strangest cities in the world. Built along the sheer cliffs of the Guan River Gorge. Jiatong City is one of the narrowest cities in the world. Most food and goods travel in by river, and most pedestrian movement is by bicycle or motor scooter. The small bridge handles foot and bike traffic. A strange city in such a beautiful place. I wonder why a recent city would be built there in a difficult location to access. Did they just build over an ancient site? What do you think? eighteen ninety two february twenty seventh arizona republican there were giants in those days wheeling west virginia while digging a grave on trace fork lincoln county a few days ago the bones of a human being of gigantic stature and proportions were exhumed the skeleton is in a good state of preservation and the outlines of the frame sufficiently defined to determine that the stature of the person must have been nine or ten feet a skull and other bones also indicate a prodigious eyes. No one now living has any knowledge of the grave or its occupant, and all indications point to its belonging to some prehistoric race of giants contemporary with the mastodon, fossil remains of which have been found in many parts of the country. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. The Atlantean Metal Library in 1965, Janice Juan Moritz discovered in the middle of nowhere across the ocean, an extensive system of underground communications of inconceivable antiquity. The gigantic branching of underground roads and tunnels stretched for thousands of kilometers, passing besides Argentina, also under the territory of Peru and Ecuador. The walls of the tunnels were smooth and polished, and the ceilings were flat and level, as if covered with a glaze. Passageways led to vast underground halls. In one of the galleries, Moritz discovered 20 kilogram books of thin metal sheets measuring 96 by 48 centimeters. Most surprisingly, each such page was stamped or engraved with mysterious signs. It is thought to be the library of a vanished ancient civilization. By the way, let's talk about our celebs. Ever since he released his satanic single and his satanic shoes, Lil Nas X has been a fixture at award shows. And, with every appearance, he proves that he's really an industry baby, that's actually the name of one of his singles. The 2022 Grammys were no exception. Before the show, Nas X walked around with an outfit adorned with numerous butterflies, reminding us all that he's part of the industry's monarch system. He's not wearing butterflies because he thinks they're pretty. His entire act is replete with butterfly symbolism. And one-eye signs. The backdrop of his Grammy performance consisted of a giant Lil Nas X head with one side melted down to the skull. 
It was a great way of displaying the one eye sign to the 43 people who still watch the Grammys. Speaking of the one eye sign, it was still everywhere last month. I simply cannot believe that most people still do not see it. In this poster promoting the new Netflix series The Pentaverate, we've got a mega combo. A one eye sign, an all seeing eye inside a triangle, and a Masonic square and compass. The Pentaverate is a comedy about a secret society that has been controlling the world for centuries. They love to hide the truth in plain sight. In 2021, Time named Anya Taylor-Joy, one of the 100 most influential people in the world. On this cover of Vogue British, she is dubbed Hollywood royalty. The one eye sign using an ironic crown proves that she's actually Hollywood's. Jennifer Lopez recently announced that she was engaged to Ben Affleck, again. She showed off her rare green diamond ring by making a big fat one eye sign. In other words, this union was sanctified by the industry. Brazilian pop star Anitta was recently featured, or promoted, in a New York Times article, titled, Can a Brazilian pop star crack the US market? Anitta thinks so. This is the main picture used in this article. Yup, an unmistakable one-eye sign. That's what's required to get that sweet mass media attention. Julia Fox is an actress and model, but she is mostly known for briefly going out with Kanye West after his breakup with Kim Kardashian. And she's clearly into occult elite madness. Julia Fox wore a highly symbolic outfit at the Oscars. A big black hand grabs Julia Fox's neck, making it a literal choker. This is a great way of representing the occult elite controlling her, also, her clutch is made of real human hair. They love things made from actual human parts. Speaking of purses, Kylie Jenner was recently seen walking around with a horn demon purse made of glass. As you can see, this bag is basically useless. All it actually does is signal who she truly works for. In a recent Instagram post, country singer Jimmy Allen celebrated his Grammy nomination for Best New Artist. Check out his pendant. The Mother and Compass. I guess his nomination for Best New Artist starts making sense. Sadly for him and his Mother Lodge, Olivia Rodrigo won because she's a way bigger industry pawn. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.